Australian Yankel Rosenbaum was in New York studying to become a rabbi. Instead, he became the victim of a misguided act of revenge. In August 1991, tensions between the Jewish and black communities in Brooklyn's Crown Heights district boiled over. Yankel Rosenbaum was chased down and killed by an angry mob in retaliation for the death of a seven-year-old boy, knocked down a few hours earlier by a Jewish motorist. The then 16-year-old Lamrick Nelson Jr. was blamed for the stab wound that killed the Australian student. Above and beyond all the evidence of people who identified him at this scene, the forensics, his confession, the most telling piece of evidence was my brother's identification of Nelson as my brother lay dying on the hood of a car when Nelson was brought across to him and Yankel identified him not only as one of the group who attacked him, but he positively identified him as the person who had stabbed him. Despite the evidence against him, Nelson was later acquitted of murder by a state court. The Rosenbaum family then began a campaign to reopen the case. The family finally succeeded and in 2003 a new jury found Nelson guilty of violating Rosenbaum's civil rights. This is not a cause for celebration because what we have witnessed with today's verdict is the final chapter in a series of tragedies. Nelson was sentenced to 10 years in prison but was released within a year because of the time he had already served. Now, 19 years after he knifed the Melbourne scholar, he has himself become the victim of a stabbing. Police say Nelson has been found beside his car stabbed in the head with an ice pick. He's been taken to hospital. US media are reporting that he's in a stable condition.